guys so this is the second part of chapter number one introduction to statistics and in this lesson our learning objectives are variables and types of data so here we will discuss variables and the type of data so again i will explain one more time the definition of variable a variable is a characteristic or attribute that can assume different values right the name indicates variable so it means variable can have different values its values may change then the categories of variable so see the variable is divided into two categories first one is called the quantitative other one is qualitative right variables are divided into two categories quantitative and qualitative so for quantitative as the name indicates quantity right so we can count or measured just like suppose we have a number 16 there are 16 candies or 35 toys so we can count so it will come under the category of quantitative variables height 5.2 inches weight temperature 36 degree centigrade etc so if you count if you measure the variable it is called the quantitative variable on the other hand qualitative distinct categories according to some attributes just like gender male or female religious suppose someone is has someone has islamic culture or the christianity or hindu etc so these are the religious geographic locations where they live right so quantitative or qualitative is clear and then the quantitative i told you we count or we measured so quantitative variable is further divided into two categories one is called the discrete variable and the second is called the continuous variable so see i told you here counted or measured if the quantitative variable is counted you can count then it comes to the category of discrete variable while if you measured then it goes to the category of continuous variable so examples are suppose 16 or 78 candies or 500 boxes we can count etc book pages you can count money spent online during the year yes it's a little amount of money suppose you spent 500 dollar or 1000 whatever you can count so if you count it is called the discrete variable if you measure it is called the continuous variable can be a decimal or fraction suppose 6.58 or pi values 22 over 7 that is equal to 3.14 etc the weight of the suitcase if the weight of the suitcase is suppose 23.5 kg we can make it round right so when you measure it or the speed of the wind so you cannot count you can just measure so it comes under the category of continuous variable right so variables are divided into two categories quantitative and qualitative quantitatives are further divided into two categories discrete or continuous if you count it is you can it is countable and it is measurable we will also see the variables with the help of different example as well if it is a continuous variable then you have to set the boundaries as well suppose if the temperature is 22. 22 degree centigrade we have recorded 22 degree centigrade right so its boundaries are maybe 21.5 up to 22.5 degree celsius right if the temperature sorry time is 0.414 second 14 second so its boundaries are 0.135 up to 0.145 suppose if the time is 0.136 
you can make it 0.14. If it is 0.137, you can make it 0.14 and it will come under this category. Up to 0.145, but 0.145 is actually not included in this category. If it is 0.145, it will go to the 15 cent. And we will discuss these boundaries in next chapter in more detail. Similarly, length is 22 centimeters. Suppose you have recorded, but its boundaries are 21.5 up to 22.5, but 22.5 is not included. If it is suppose 21.6, you can make it 22 centimeter. If it is 21.7, you can write down 22 centimeter up to 22.5 centimeter. Now is how variables are categorized, counted or measured. Here I will give you example. Suppose can the data values be ranked? First we have to see can the data values be ranked? Suppose we have some data and we can we make it ranking first, second and so on. Can the data be organized into specific categories, rural, urban, etc. Can the data be measured just like height, temperature, time, length, IQ, scores, etc. So these type of classification needs measurement scale. So there are four different measurement scales and here we are going to discuss the first one is the nominal scale. These are simply ways to categorize different types of variables. Nominal categorical names no ranking or no order. Here there is no need to make any ranking and there is no need to make the order. Nominal scales are used for labeling the variables without any quantitative value. Examples note that all of these scales are mutually exclusive, no overlap and none of them have any numerical significance, no ranking or no order. For example, gender, male or female, right? There is no ranking or no order. You can write down female first and male second. Where do you live? USA, if suppose some people are living in USA, India or Iran, no ranking or no order. What is your hair color? Black, brown, gray, etc. So no ranking. It is the nominal measurement. Second is the ordinal measurement. Ordinal, nominal, it can have the characteristics of the nominal plus can be ranked. See, there is ranking involved. Data measured at this level can be placed into categories and these categories can be ordered and ranked. Just like you can take the example of the letter grades A, B, C, D. Some students have A, some B, some C. D and so on. So we can make the ranking or order. Just like another example, guest speaker speech, we may say the speech was excellent or good or average or poor. Restaurant services, one for poor, two for average, three for very good and four for excellent. The students ranking first, second, third and so on. So these are the examples of a ordinal. An ordinal nominal plus can be ranked. Third is the interval measurement. So interval ordinal means it can have the characteristics of the ordinal plus intervals are consistent. Now what does it mean interval are consistent? So here we will see few examples just like the IQ score. Meaningful difference if suppose someone has a score 107, other student has 108, so there is a meaningful difference between 107 or 108 IQ score. Just like in the temperature, if suppose is a 15 degree centigrade or 16 degree centigrade, there is a meaningful difference. Distance, there is a meaningful difference between 30 km to 40 km. And this is the important point here that note there is no true zero. What does it mean? Means IQ tests do not measure people who have no intelligence. 
temperature 0 degree centigrade does not mean no heat at all. So this is the important point for the interval measurement that there is no true zero. While on the other hand in ratio and this is the last measurement there is true zero. The zero is the scale makes this type of measurement unlike the other types of measurement although the properties are similar to that of the interval level of measurement. Here is an example. It is used to measure height, phone calls received, area, weight, etc. Right? If we measure height, phone calls, then you have to use the ratio measurement. If someone has weight is 100 pounds, while other is 50 pounds, we can say the ratio is 2 is to 1. The researcher should note that among these levels of measurement, the nominal, the first one, right, is simple. Used to classify data, whereas the levels of measurement described by the interval level and the ratio level are much more exact. So in this picture, you can have some clear view as well. See nominal, ordinal and interval data are discrete and what is the discrete variable the variables which we can we can count so nominal there are four measurements nominal ordinal interval and ratio out of these four nominal ordinal and interval are discrete while on the other hand ratio data are continuous so we are starting from here nominal attributes are only named this is the weakest measurement ordinal attributes can be ordered and we have seen one two three and so on interval distance is meaningful just like i gave the example of iq score or temperature ratio absolute zero in interval no true zero here absolute zero so each level has the properties of the preceding levels plus something more. Here I have made a table to give you a more detailed view. Measurement levels, variable, nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio and level. So zip code. Zip code is nominal, right? You can have the zip code or area code, but there is no ranking required. No ordinal, so its level is nominal. Letter grade, nominal, yes. Ordinal, yes. So it is ordinal. Hair color, nominal, yes. And all are no, because there is no ranking. If someone has a black color or blue or gray or whatever, so no ranking, nominal. Age, nominal, yes. Ordinal, yes. Interval, yes. Ratio, yes. So it is ratio. IQ score, nominal. Ordinal, interval, yes, ratio, no, so it is interval. Temperature, yes, 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 and no. At the end, there are a few more examples. Suppose amount of money spent on recreation, it comes in the ratio measurement. Blood type is nominal. Number of flowers in the garden, ratio. Cell phone calls, nominal. Fictitious book, ordinal, temperature of the town, interval, IQ, interval. I hope now you understand the types of variables and if you have any question you can write down on the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel on YouTube, Saima Academy and thanks for watching it.